What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here on the reading session of the phenomenal Bitcoin Optech newsletter. Thank you very much to all the supporters and, of course, the contributors to this amazing newsletter. Today, number five, July 24th, 2018. This week's newsletter includes information about a new language to describe output scripts, an update on Bitcoin Core's support for partially signed Bitcoin transaction, and news on several other notable Bitcoin Core merges. Action items. Bitcoin Core version 0.16.2, Release Candidate 2 was released for testing in preparation for a maintenance release that will provide bug fixes and backports. Community testing is highly appreciated. Note, there was no release candidate 1 due to a metadata problem being detected during the release process. Dashboard items. Transaction fees are lower than they were this time last week. Anyone who can wait 12 or more blocks for confirmation can reasonably pay the default minimum fee rate. It's a good time to consolidate UTXOs. Well, that's always a good time to do. The number of native SegWit outputs has been increasingly steadily over time, but dropped by about 400,000 or 80% this week, possibly due to UTXO consolidation by an exchange. The average number of new native SegWit outputs created per hour remains relatively constant, indicating no obvious decrease in adoption. News. Bitcoin Optag publicly announced we received great coverage in Bitcoin Magazine, Coindesk, and several other publications. This wouldn't have been possible without the support of our founding sponsors and member companies. Thank you. Well, seriously, Optech, we thank you. First Optech workshop held in San Francisco. As previously announced, we held our first workshop in San Francisco last week. There were 14 engineers from the Bay Area companies and open source projects in attendance. And we had great discussions about coin selection, replaced by fee, and child pays for parent. Thanks to Square for hosting and Conbase for helping with organization. If you work at a member company and have any request for or suggestion for future Optech events, be that location, venue, dates, formats, topics, or anything else, please contact us. We're happy to help our member companies. Coin selection RPC unlikely. In Bitcoin's core's weekly meeting, Andrew Chow raised the possibility of creating an RPC that would allow users to pass in information about a transaction they want to create, including a list of available inputs, and receive back a list of which inputs would be selected by the Bitcoin Core wallet's coin join selection algorithm. Meeting participants were mostly opposed to providing this feature, suggesting that it would be better if it was a library and that Bitcoin Core's recent continuing work towards encapsulating its coin selection code would simplify development of third-party libraries later. A particular opposition to the idea was that it might reduce the pace of development for direct users for the Bitcoin Core wallet. As Gregory Maxwell said, pressure to maintain a stable interface to coin selection would be harmful to the project. I don't want to hear we can't implement privacy feature X because it will break the coin selection interface. First use of output script describe. Output script descriptors. Peter Woolley has opened a new pull request to Bitcoin Core that implements his output script descriptors. Language for describing which output script, the script pub key, a wallet should monitor for. The particular pull request only applies to the recently added scan TX output, RPC, but Woolley's ultimate goal is to use this new language elsewhere in the API and to remove the need for importing script and key entirely. 
and instead make the wallet just be a list of these descriptors plus associated metadata. BIP-174 partially signed Bitcoin transaction support merged. This provides a standardized format that multiple wallets can use to communicate information about transactions that need to be signed so that hot wallets can get signatures from cold wallets or hardware wallets and multi-sig transactions can be signed by multiple wallets and multiple wallets can collaboratively create multi-party transactions such as coin joins and several RPCs are added with this merge. Wallet process PSBT, wallet create funded PSBT, decode PSBT, combine PSBT, finalized PSBT, create PSBT, and convert PSBT. The full description, see the poll request. Notable Bitcoin Core merges, not including those previously discussed in the news section. There's one pull request where new wallets can now be created with private key disabled. This is primarily meant for users who want to exclusively use their wallet in conjunction with another program or hardware wallet that store private keys. This could also be useful to companies that want to use Bitcoin core features like coin selection by creating a wallet, importing their addresses, uh, but not private keys, and then performing whatever action they desire, such as using the Fund Raw Transaction RPC. Another merge is a new scanned TX output RPC method that allows searching the set of spendable Bitcoins, UTXOs, for those matching an address, public key, private key, or hierarchical deterministic key path. The main expected use for this is funds sweeping, where transactions matching an old wallet are found and transferred to a new wallet. Although this RPC will almost certainly be included in Bitcoin Core version 0.17, it will likely be marked as experimental so that its API can be freely changed in subsequent releases. The API is likely to be updated to support output script descriptors, which is planned to happen before version 0.17. Another pull request where Bitcoin Qt is now built by default in addition to Bitcoin D in 32-bit ARM systems and should be distributed by default with the other binaries for that system of BitcoinCore.org. For future release, Bitcoin QT with 64-bit ARM is not yet supported by default. Pull another pull request or in which the node now sends all announcements, E-I-N-V-S, for new transactions to all of its incoming peers at the same time after a random delay. Previously, Satoshi Nakamoto added a feature to Bitcoin, the software, that waited for a different random delay for each peer before sending an announcement so that the transaction would propagate around the network somewhat unpredictably, prevent spy nodes from being able to assume that the first peer they received a transaction from was likely the peer that created it. However, later investigators realize that someone operating multiple spy nodes could make multiple connection to each node to increase their chance of being the first to receive a given transaction, allowing the spy to, ag to again guess which node created the transaction. This merge improves the situation by preventing a spy making multiple connections from received from receiving any more information than a spy with one connection. Outgoing connections, which are selected by the node itself, using certain rules containing to use the old behavior so that transactions continue to propagate unpredictably. This change might increase transaction propagation delay slightly, although developers committing on the pull request think that the effect will be minimal. It may also cause bandwidth usage to be less evenly distributed over time. However, it could 
in theory, end up reducing the number of incoming connections to upgraded node. If spy nodes no longer find making multiple connections to be useful, reducing overall wasted bandwidth. The next pull request, the abandoned transaction RPC has been fixed to abandon all descending transactions and not just the children. Coming atten attractions. Next week newsletters will feature a field report from Anthony Towns, a developer at Xapo, about how they, how they consolidated around 4 million UTXOs to prepare for potential future fee increases. We love getting contributions to the newsletter from member companies. If you'd like to share your experience in implementing better Bitcoin technology, please contact the Bitcoin Optech group. Peers, you have to subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter, the place for accumulating dense and well-curated information all about the development of Bitcoin and open source technology. As always, peers, thank you so much for joining me here in accumulating this information and trying to understand it in order to apply it and initiate the action items described here to achieve full Bitcoin wisdom. Peers, thank you very much for joining me here and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.